Michaela and this is my seventh book haul. The first book that I managed to get was a Vivian Westwood's edition of Alice in Wonderland, as you can tell by the dust jacket, which is pretty ugly, but underneath it is a nice cloth bound edition, which I would show you, but it'll mess the screen up, so unfortunately I can't. But I only got this one because the font is a lot easier to read, which I otherwise wouldn't read this at all because the font is usually tiny and not very nice to read. The next book that I managed to get was Endgame, The Calling by James Free and Niles Johnson Sheldon. I think that's how you see his first name for £5 and got a suspicion it's a little bit like the Hunger Games but I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit better and I look forward to finding that out. The next book that I have was given to me by my sister because she had more than one copy of this book and she thought it would be a good place to start with Terry Pratchett and that is I Shall Wear Midnight and I do look forward to trying to get into Terry Pratchett's work and hopefully I will and Hopefully I'll enjoy it a lot. The next book that I managed to buy was Jacqueline Wilson's Sapphire by the Sea and I have no idea what this book's about but I've grown up with Jacqueline Wilson um, like, when I was a kid so I look forward to seeing if this one's any good as well. The next one is part of a series but this one isn't the first book but I got it really cheap so that is The Boy Who Lost Fairyland and I haven't read any of the books but hopefully I'll get my hands on the rest of them fair like later on and then read this and hopefully I'll enjoy it. And the next book that I have I said I would never read and it's also a book in the series but I have to get the rest of the books first apart from the first one and that is Clario Clario by Garth Nix which was also really cheap for £2 when it's meant to be 15 and I look forward to getting round to this because it was a bargain and I did manage to get these three books for a £5 total which is great because usually that would cost me about £30 and I look forward to getting through these books eventually. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.